Yo YouTube, what's going on and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today I am going to have a combat guide for you guys, everything that I've learned from the game on how to uh, fight and uh, win fights and stuff like that. Uh, if you're anything like me, when you first started this game, combat's actually really tough, it's a little different, uh, it's hard to get a hold of, and it makes the game not so much fun whenever you're just getting your ass handed to you the entire time. So I'm going to tell you everything that I've learned from it and what you should focus on and what you should do to actually win these fights and when you're outnumbered and everything like that, I'll go through all of it. Um, pretty much combat in this game comes down to three things and I'll list them in from in order from importance to least important. Uh, the main thing about this game in combat is your stamina. You want to at least stay 50% or higher in stamina and that's that yellow bar at the bottom of your screen right there. The second most important thing is blocking, and the third most important thing is going to be your combos. Now, I say you want to stay high in stamina, because that's what's going to keep your health high. Whenever you're blocking and you're blocking attacks and stuff, if you have low stamina, they're going to be able to get right through your block, and they're going to be able to damage you and take health from you. So like I said, you want to make sure you stay 50% or above in stamina while you're fighting because if you fall below a certain point, they're going to break through your block, they're going to damage you. Second most important thing is blocking. You don't want to be blocking the entire time. You only want to block whenever somebody is about to attack you. And uh, that's what we have. we're standing in front of Bernard here because I'm going to show you all this here in just a moment. Um, and like I said, the third thing is combos. Uh, you don't have to learn every single combo and remember every single combo. Pick whatever weapon it is you want to use. Like we're using our, uh, we're using a long sword, right? So I go down here in the sword and I'm going to pick one of these combos. Like this one right here, it's meant weapon long sword. The rhythm is slash from the bottom left, stab, stab. Now these combos are going to allow you to break through an opponent's block. This is how you're going to do it, and this is how you're going to damage him. And most people, whenever you break through their block and you pull off this combo, it's more than likely going to kill them unless they're like heavy, full plate armor. Uh, you land this combo, it's more than likely going to kill them. Uh, so, like I said, that's the, the, the last important thing to do, the, the least out of the three that are the most important. But you want to learn combos, you want to learn how to block, and you want to make sure you stay high on your stamina bar. Those are the important things to do, and I'm going to take you through that right now with Bernard here. Now, whenever you first start the game, you're not going to be able to learn all this yet. Uh, you're going to have to go through the quest line just very shortly through the quest line. Uh, you end up with a quest that takes you to Neuhof, and you pretty much uh, go up here to Neuhof, and you find out a bunch of bandits attacked the stables, killed a bunch of horses, and killed a few people. And you start investigating that. And you, during that quest line, you realize that there's this ginger fellow that you have to find he ran off and you go to find ginger and you go up here and you end up talking to some uh charcoal burners and they tell you there are a couple bandits are after ginger as well and you need to kill the bandits before you find ginger uh bandit camps right here in case you didn't know uh that's where the bandits are going to be they're going to be walking along this road and at this camp so pretty much you fight these bandits kill them uh or however which way you want to do it and then you find ginger once you find Ginger and you run back to Neuhof and you tell Captain Bernard that you found Ginger and that's when you start the main storyline quest for the most part uh, right off of there. But once you do that, Captain Bernard will actually come back here to Rate where we are right now on the north end of Rate and he's going to be at this little uh, combat arena. He's going to be standing here most of the day. So you want to come up to him. And that's how you're going to learn how to do combos and everything like that. So whenever you talk to him, you're going to go to training. And they don't, they're not showing up for me, the options, but they'll show up for you if you haven't done it yet. But this is what I recommend doing. As soon as you possibly can, you want to learn combat from him. And he's going to teach you a few things, like more advanced stuff and stuff like that. You don't need to focus on the defense, the axe, and the sword he does. This is where you pay him just to increase your skill don't worry about those, but all these options up here you want to do, like the training with the practice weapon, training with the real weapon, you don't need to do those. Uh, if you need some, if you need to practice some, do that, but uh, you don't need to. He'll, he's going to say something like, have an option like, uh, I want to learn how to protect myself or something like that. I want to learn defense, something like that. And that's where he's going to teach you how to perfect block, which is what I'm about to show you. Then after that, he's going to 
say like I'd like to learn combos and he's gonna show you a combo make sure you do this one and then after that he's gonna say I want to like you want to master something you want to learn something better you want to master it I think it's something like that and that's where he teaches you how to do the parries and uh, that's the important part once you get the parries done you pretty much know everything you need to know uh, about combat in the game and then you can just practice it <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fight him and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about and show you when you should block, when you shouldn't block, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'd like to train. We're gonna train with a long sword because that's what we have. I still don't feel entirely right, lad. All right. Now I'm gonna show you. First thing is about stamina. I'm gonna just let him attack me here for a second. Like I said, got, whenever you get hit, see how your stamina is going down. <laughs> You want to make sure you stay in high stamina, because if your stamina, like I said, goes low, you're going to take damage. We're not taking damage right now because it's with wooden swords, but you want to make sure your stamina stays high. So what we're going to do, as you see him attacking us here, he's, he's hitting us with a flurry of, uh, of swings and stuff here, and he continues his combo. The reason you don't want to just stand there and block is because he's not going to stop his combo. He's going to continue his combo until he breaks through your block and damages you so I'm gonna show you here I'm just gonna hold block the whole time see I'm just holding block see how he's just continuing to attack me and eventually he will break through and he will hurt you so I'm just gonna hold block still just still just holding block this entire time see he broke through and he got us he hit us with a combo do the whole block again show you one more time just me just holding block and he continues to attack us and he hit us with another combo so this is what you know, like I said, that's not what you do not want to do. You do not want to continuously hold block. You want to hit at least a perfect block. Every time he swings, you want him, you want to at least hit a perfect block. So I'm going to show you that now, and that will stop his combos. See that perfect block, how he stopped swinging after that? We missed that one, but that's okay. Another perfect block. See how he doesn't continue his combos anymore? Once you hit a perfect block, he will stop doing his combo. He won't continue. Now I'll go back to just holding block. I'm just holding it the entire time right now. He's going to continue hitting me after the first you know swing. There he goes. He kept on going. Hold block again. And here he goes. Keeps on going until he breaks through a block. And now we're just going to do a perfect block again. There it is. Now the way you do a perfect block, if you notice that little dial, your little attack dial shows you which way you're attacking from, which way your sword is facing. Whenever that green shield pops up in the center of that, if you hit the block button, you'll perform a perfect block if you do it quick enough. That's what you want to do at least every single time. Like I said, you want to wait for someone to attack you, and then you want to hit block to at least get a perfect block. Once you learn how to parry from him, that's where it changes. You want to hit block before that shield pops up. And it's a little difficult to do when you first start doing it. It's difficult to see. But what we're going to do for this, and like I said, you, this is going to help you with your perfect block. Like You won't always get the parry. You won't always time it right. And that's fine. But you want to at least make sure you're trying to get that perfect block every time. So what we're going to do is we're going to pay zero attention to that attack dial. We don't care about it at all. We're actually going to watch his head, his shoulders. We're watching his body posture. Now he's going to change from side to side positions from where he's going to swing from all the time. But you'll notice whenever he starts to attack, he actually puts his body weight into the swing. And you'll see him like move his arms back, get ready to pretty much charge you with all of his weight. He's putting all of his body weight into the swing. And I want to show you a few examples of that. Whenever you see... Him getting ready to put his body weight behind a swing, that means he's about to attack. That's when you want to hit the block button. And that's going to perform a parry. Like I said, you won't do it every single time. It takes a while to get used to. But if you do that, you can perform a parry, which knocks him off balance, which will allow you to get one of your combos in, or at least allow you to damage him some uh, while he's off balance. Um, I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to show you a few times of him switching back and forth, and then I'm going to show you when he's about to swing. And you'll see it when he starts to lunge. And uh, uh, if you can't see it in real time, like I said, I'll slow it down so you get the idea of what I'm talking about. But I'm going to actually perform some parries now against him to show you what I mean. 
see right there. I noticed he actually pulled back and he's getting ready to swing. So I hit block. Like I said, you're not always going to do it right there. I just hit a perfect block. But we're going to wait for him again. We're watching his shoulders, his head. We're watching his body weight. There it is. We didn't hit it that time. We just got a perfect block. We weren't quick enough. Just another perfect block. But I said, as long as you're doing this, you're at least getting the perfect block off by doing this. So you should be fine. Like I said, I'm not holding block this entire time. I'm just walking around waiting for him to attack. There he comes. And there's our parry. We saw that weight shift. And once we saw that weight shift, we hit block. Like I said, there we tried it again, but we got a perfect block instead. And there's another parry. So that's how you want to get the perfect block in, or the uh, parry in, is you want to wait for his weight to shift. You notice he's going from side to side. And when he goes side to side, it looks like he's shifting his weight, but he's actually not. He's just going from side to side. And you can actually see it when he shifts his weight. You're not always going to get it every time, like I said. Sometimes it's going to be a perfect block, and that's okay. As long as you're not taking the damage, you're fine. That perfect block still stops his combo. But you can watch and you can see how he puts his weight into the swings. And sometimes he's going to switch positions like that. It looks like he's about to swing. And you're going to hit block. And that's not a big deal. Just Whenever you hit that block, just let go of it. Don't hold it the whole time. If, you, if he switches his position and you hit block, that's fine. It just means you hit block. No big deal. But like I said, we at least want to try to hit the perfect block. So we're waiting. We're watching him. Waiting for him to put momentum behind his swing. We're not looking at that dial at all. Like I said, you're not going to get it every time. But as long as you're doing that, you're at least going to get the perfect block. There's a good one right there. Okay. So that's the perfect block. Now... Once you've learned that and you, you see that weight movement coming in and you can understand that's when you need to block, you're at least going to hit perfect block every time, which is going to keep you safe. And uh, every once in a while, you're going to hit that parry and you're going to pull them off balance. Now, the last part, like I said, was the combos. Now, combos are important. You don't need to remember every combo. Just remember one of them. One of them that you like, that's easy for you to do, that you can pull off. Like that one that I just showed you, the one where we slash from the bottom left... And then we stab twice. Whenever you're doing combos, you want to wait for your sword to actually land. Because they are going to be able to do a perfect block on you. And you can't do that combo if he lands a perfect block on you or if he dodges your attack. So you wait for that first blow to land to continue your combo. And you can actually hear whenever he's doing a perfect block on you. You'll hear like a jew sound right like time is slowing down kind of thing and i'm going to show you that here in just a second but we're going to try to pull off some of these combos now now while we're pulling off these combos we're still watching him to see if he's going to attack because if he attacks we still need to be ready to block right because sometimes game's a little weird sometimes you're going to swing he's going to swing at the same time stuff like that or you're going to land this perfect block and right after you or you're going to land this the first swing and he hits a perfect block on you he might even counter your swing and and parry you so i mean that's what i'm talking about you need to don't just jump right into the combo you want to make sure that first attack lands first and we'll go ahead and show you some of that now uh, he hit a perfect block you see how that that sound came with douche there it is again he had a perfect block that douche sound there's that combo we was looking for. Like I said, you want to wait for your sword to hit. You want to make sure he dot hitting a block on you. Like that, that douche. If he's blocking, you can't land that combo. You have to wait for him not to hit a perfect block. Come and get it! Ow! 
there's another good combo to show you. you once, like I said, once your sword hits, that's when you want to hit the button for the next uh, attack. You don't want to do it before, and you want to make sure you don't do it whenever he's doing a, a block on you. A perfect block. Because it won't work. All that's going to happen is he's going to attack you, and you're going to lose health. Like I said, the entire time you're doing this, you're also waiting for him to make attacks. So if you see him start to make attack, make sure you hit block. Like I said, it takes a little getting used to, but not much. Once you understand the perfect block part of it, it's not that big a deal. You're not always going to land your combos, like I said. Sometimes they're going to block that swing. Sometimes, it, you know, this, like I said, Bernard is like a top-notch dude in fighting. So it's harder to land your combos against him than it will be most people in this game. So you don't need to worry about the combo so much against Bernard, but it's good to practice against them. Just the main thing you want to worry about is your stamina and blocking. Like I said, you don't want to block the whole time. You only want to block when they're swinging to make sure you at least get a perfect block. And sometimes you'll get that parry, knock them off balance, and then you can attack them. Now, I know what you're thinking. Trailer, most of the time in this game, you're outnumbered four or five to one. You know, you're not facing one-on-one. -on -one. And I understand that, and I'm going to show you what I do uh, in those scenarios. Go ahead and surrender to him real quick. Okay, so now I want you to learn a lot from Bernard. Like I said, uh, a lot of times in this game you're going to be outnumbered. It's going to be two, three, four versus one. Uh, and what you need to do in that scenario. First thing I would recommend is uh, in your skills, you have Houndmaster here. You get a dog in the game automatically. Make sure you pick up the dog from Teresa if you don't know this yet. Go get the dog, work on your Houndmaster. To get your Houndmaster up quick, all you need to do is praise your dog over and over again really quickly in procession, and it'll level him up. So you just talk to your dog, and you go to praise. There's the good doggy. And it's going to say, there's a good doggy. That's my boy. Stuff like that. That's my boy. And it's going to praise him, and that's going to increase your Houndmaster skill, and it's also going to increase his the, your dog's obedience. But you pretty much do that over and over again really fast. Just keep on doing it. And it's going to level you up some on your dog, on your Houndmaster skill. Now, in the skill tree itself, there's Hunt, which is a good one to have. I'd recommend getting that. You're going to get that first, pretty much, anyways. You get that, and then it'll allow you to like go hunt rabbits and deer and stuff like that. And it'll increase your Houndmaster skill even more. Um, but you want to get sick. Uh, it tells you right here, your dog will attack people on command. So, this is something that will help you out greatly whenever you're against you know three four people at once your dog will ran will attack at least one person which is going to take somebody off you for a few seconds which is going to allow you to get that attack in or get a perfect block in and then attack somebody and i'm going to run around here and i'm actually going to find a group of bandits to show you what i'm talking about and how i go about fighting a group of bandits here but this skill right here uh very important it helps you out in battle tremendously tremendously helps it even helps you out on one-on-ones if you're facing a guy that's one-on-one -on -one, that's full stacked armor that you just can't seem to get through his block or something like that have your dog sick him if your dog sicks him uh he has to take his attention away from you and deal with your dog and at that point in time you can hit a couple quick stabs or slashes on him and knock him down and get his health down but i'm going to show you that here in just a moment we're going to go find some bandits to attack or some bandits to attack us okay uh it looks like we've come across across a bandit here uh hopefully there's a group of them not just us one guy I'm going to show you what we do when what I do whenever uh, we fight multiple people. There is something I want to mention before I forgot to mention is armor is a, an important part in this game, uh, but it's not the end all be all. Like you don't need to be stacked in full plate armor. Uh, you can do this with you can fight and win without like, being stacked in full plate armor. Like armor is going to help you out to where if they break through your defenses, they break through your block, they hit you from the back or something like that. You don't take as much health damage. Uh, it mitigates the damage you actually take in. So it is important, but for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to do it without so much armor. The only thing I have on is a black hood, uh, dark Saxon gamison, leather boots, and leather gloves. My armor is pretty much at a bare minimum, so I'm going to show you you don't need to be stacked in plate armor, but it is an important thing in this game. So hopefully this guy isn't by himself. We'll pull our sword out and walk up to him see what he has to say. And I'll show you what I do when I fight multiple people. Me. Give me all you have. There we go. Yeah, there's multiple people. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have my dog sick. Oh, sleaze, 
So he's going to take care of one, at least one guy for me. I'm going to back up. I'm going to wait to land a perfect block on somebody. I'm going to keep backing up. I don't want him to get surround. I don't want to be surrounded. And I'm just going to try to take these guys out one at a time. Just keep backing up. Wait for somebody to attack and hit block. Like here. We got a perfect block off. And we can get an attack on this guy here. Yep. Just make sure we don't get surrounded. Just keep backing up. And we just hit block whenever somebody swings at us. And hopefully we land a perfect block. If not, it's okay. Just keep backing up. It's all you got. Like I said, our dog's going to help out. He's going to help get at least one person off of us. But we're just going to keep backing up. And we're going to try to land that perfect block. And we're going to try to keep our stamina up high. We don't want to get surrounded, so we keep backing up. And as soon as we can get one of them down, it'll be helpful. See, there's one of them down. Now we have less to worry about. And we take another one down. You see, I think that guy over there is shooting a bow at us. You want to make sure we keep him between the guy between us and whoever's shooting that bow so that chances are he's going to hit the guy in front of us and not us and we just keep backing up like i said your dog's going to help out whenever he does that just get a stab off now let's get this guy with the bow if i can hit him and there we go and that's how we are going to take out a group of people like i said Make sure you don't get surrounded. Just keep backing up slowly. And whenever somebody charges you, you just want to uh, make sure you get a block off. So he's going to eventually someone's going to outrun the person that you're you're looking at, like just what happened there. And they're going to come in and they're going to try to get a swing off on you. Whenever you do, just make sure you hit a perfect block. And then just keep backing up. Once you hit that perfect block, you can try to get a counter in real quick if you're not surrounded already. Just like I did there. Like I said, the dog helps out. The dog's going to take attention away from you. Or it's going to take uh, attention of somebody that you're fighting when you're outnumbered. So it makes it, instead of a four-on-one, it's a three-on-one, you know. So make sure you get the dog. Make sure you get sick. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, these guys weren't heavily heavily armored but they was armored pretty well they had good weapons and stuff so yeah you just uh, keep on backing up and that's all you need to do keep backing up wait for somebody to swing make sure you get a perfect block off once you get that perfect block off try to get an attack in real quick but just don't get surrounded make sure you can continually back up but yeah that's my guide on uh, combat and kingdom come deliverance hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you found it helpful if you did make sure you leave a like and sub for me be much appreciated and we will catch you guys on the next one later